Hey guys, welcome back to Ursa Minor Sewing, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how I did the gold appliques for the uh, skirt of Princess Peach. Believe me, there's a lot of them. So the first thing I did was I printed off this paper model, and I'll include a link to this in the description box below. And all I did was I the skirt's kind of lopsided, so I picked the side that looked the most proportional. I think I picked this side. And I just went along with tracing paper and traced out all of the gold filigree on this side of the skirt. And also I traced it out here. Now you'll notice that once I get to here, it completely disappears. And that's where this uh, came in handy. This is the Amiibo. And she has the exact same gold filigrees on her. And I was actually able to get a much better idea of what they look like on her than on that paper model. You can also push down on the skirt here, and there are the gold filigrees there. These ones I kind of had to freehand a little bit, but they turned out really well. So once I trace them out, I'll just show you some of my micro tracings here. So here's one there. That's the one that you see at the center back. See? So I had to blow these up. So my printer only goes up to 400%, so I did that and gave it a look. And this is how big it got to at 400%, which wasn't very big. So I had to blow that up again, and I think I blew it up by 125. I blew this one up. 125%. And again, that still wasn't big enough, so I took that new one, I blew it up again by 125%, and I got this. Sorry. And then what I did was, you'll have to make several, like this is three pieces of paper that I had to do this on because it got so large. Then once I had it pieced together, I flipped it over and traced it out on the other side. After going through all of that, I traced it out onto some heat and bond. Um, heat and bond basically turns your fabric into a decal or a sticker that can get stuck to clothing. This is the lightweight. You don't want the heavyweight stuff because you still want to be able to sew through this. So here it is. Heat and bond light. And you just use a silk setting with this and you stick down and once you have everything all traced out on here, try to trace everything out um, as close together as you can because then you're going to take the whole banner of heat and bond and you're going to stick it down to the fabric. And uh, just a quick note here, when I was sticking stuff down I wasn't paying attention and I ended up sticking this down to the right side of my fabric. So <laughs> I stuck it down to this side, this shiny side, which means that when I finally ironed it to my dress, you got this side, the doll side, which actually doesn't look too bad. It even has that um, embroidered texture to it. So happy accident, but pay attention to what you're doing with this stuff. Luckily with these, because you have to do them in duplicates and you have to do them in mirror image of each other, it's great. That's why I traced it out on the back as well. So I traced this portion and then I flipped it over and I traced this portion and I got my mirror images that I needed. Once you have stuck the whole piece down, and it doesn't take much to stick this down, you put your iron on silk setting and you just go along and you press three to five seconds in each spot and you have to lift the iron and move it to the next spot. Don't drag it along the fabric because that moves the glue around and changes the uh, warp and weft threads of your fabric. Okay, so once you've done that, you have to cut everything out and I recommend using an X-Acto blade to do that, not a pair of scissors. Some of them you can use a pair of scissors to do, but there's really finicky spots um, so I recommend using these, and don't use fabric scissors. Use paper scissors because this is paper backed, and it will ruin your fabric scissors. Um, plus, once you get this stuck to your fabric, it basically becomes paper anyways. 
so you don't have to worry about ruining your paper scissors either. Okay. So you're going to cut all of those things out and then you have to arrange them onto the skirt and I recommend starting at the center back and working out. So I'll show you the skirt so far. Um, I've only done a little bit of embroidery on some of the filigrees but here is the center back piece and <laughs> it's looking pretty good so far. Um, ooh, there's a couple spots on here that are lifting a little bit but that's easily solvable. Just put your iron on silk setting and give it a little three second press and it'll stick back down. But you can't leave this like this. Um, especially if you intend to wash it. Uh, another thing, if you do intend on washing this, make sure all of your fabrics are pre-shrunk, especially if they have natural fibers in them. This stuff is pretty much 100% synthetic fibers, so you don't really need to press it, but it is recommended. And it says right on this thing, dry cleaning not recommended, uh, probably because the heat from the dry cleaner might make um, the adhesive lift, but if you're worried about that happening, when you wash and dry it, you can do this. See the edging? And I did this with a buttonhole stitch, and I used machine embroidery thread to do it, and there's two different threads you need for that. Oh, oops, it's down here. You're going to need the actual embroidery thread, which is going to go on the top of your sewing machine, and then you need to get embroidery bobbin thread, which is really thin material, um, thinner than the thread you use to sew with. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing, sorry, guys. <coughs> Oi, colds. Another thing you need is an embroidery needle for your machine otherwise it's going if you continue to use the leather needle like I've been doing it's going to punch huge threads or pff, threads three huge holes into your work but you see this gives this a nice clean finish there it is and if you are going to wash this if you are going to dry clean it you don't need to worry about um, it coming off. If you don't want to do the buttonhole stitch like what I did, you could just do a plain straight stitch and just tighten it up, It'll make it a short uh, stitch and loosen your tension up a little bit so that the threads stay on top and then just top stitch uh, about an eighth of an inch from the edge all the way around. Um, if you're a quilter, which I am not, you can free motion it and that'll work too. So that's how you do the applique and embroidery work for this. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the skirt attached to the bodice. And I'll see you again then, guys. Until that time, happy sewing.